Hi, and welcome to this section of the Calculus 3 Tutor, where we're going to talk about the Divergence Theorem. Uh, I told you the last few sections of, the, of this class, like Stokes' Theorem and Divergence Theorem and Green's Theorem, are just going to be different theorems telling you how to transform these vector integrals among, among the different forms. Sometimes it's easier to solve one way uh, versus another, and this is an example of that. This is actually something you see quite a bit in electrostatics uh, to do a lot of derivations. So what you really have here is if you're trying to do a flux integral, which we've been talking about, which is integrating the flux moving through a surface, and that surface is, let's say, a closed uh, body, a closed boundary, then you can actually transform that representation from the flux integral form to a triple integral over the boundary. Okay, a regular old triple integral of the, uh, integral of the boundary, and you'll see exactly how, how to do that there. It's called the divergence theorem because we're actually going to take the divergence, the div, so to speak, of the vector field that we're integrating. So basically, let's say, suppose, just to kind of motivate it, suppose you have a solid uh, region, D, whose boundary uh, is the surface sigma, okay? Uh, we're going to take the normal uh, vector of the surface to be outward uh, to D outward uh, from D, I should say. The picture that I'm going to draw to show you this is going to make it pretty clear, I think. Basically, you have, here's your three-dimensional space, X, Y, and Z, okay? And inside here, basically, I've got some, some body. Now, this is a three-dimensional potato or something. It could be any shape, okay? And what I'm going to end up trying to do is, this is what I'm going to call, this right here is the solid region D. Okay? The boundary of this region, the actual boundary of the surface of it, uh, is sigma, the same sigma that we've always been using for the, the, the surface. And we're also going to just kind of note, because it says right here, uh, the normal vector is always pointing out of the boundary D instead of in. Okay? So what we're basically going to do is, with this picture in mind, let me write down the divergence theorem. Divergence theorem and it's going to be real clear because this isn't really hard at all. The divergence theorem basically says the following. If you're trying to do a flux integral across a surface, which is the boundary of this potato thing, of the vector field dotted with the normal vector uh, pointing out, so you're doing a flux integral across the surface, okay? you can rewrite that according to the divergence theorem as the triple integral uh, of, the, uh, uh, of the volume D of the divergence div of this vector field dV, okay? So what it's saying here is there's a vector field here that's permeating space and it's going in and out of this potato. If I want to do a flux integral of the, across the whole uh, closed boundary that kind of goes through the entire boundary, that's what I'm doing here, the boundary is sigma, then you can, you can do that. I mean, you can do that using all the methods we've talked about, but you can also rewrite it as the, uh, the, the, the triple integral over the whole volume D, that's the triple integral that we did in the very first section of this class, but instead of triple integrating the, the, the vector, you're going to dot, you're going to take the divergence of the vector, and then you do that integration over the volume 